All right, so my winter project I'm working on getting the club face in a little better position at the top, right? I used to bow my wrist a lot, which closes the face, right? It made me hit inside to out. Now I'm trying to get the wrist back to where I used to play years ago with a little bit of, um, what do they call it? A little bit of cuppy wrist, right? But where does it start? There's a two prong address with this, right? The first one is getting that position better in the takeaway. I got the hack motion open. I see the number's good. There it go right there. And I can take it back there again, right? And then I'll hit a, you know, I'll hit some soft shots like this. Just checking my numbers. Right, get that dress position first. There it go. Training myself not to add that flexion into the swing now. Right there. There we go. Looking good. And I'm gonna do this for a couple weeks. And then I'll go out and hit the full swing and I'll make sure at the top, I have that, there you go, right there, got the cuppy wrist. So right there, I'm at plus 16, and I used to be right there, minus 32. Isn't that huge? Really nice right there. And I'll just do this back and forth, nice little easy shots. But this is my fall project. So I'm gonna hit this takeaway, make sure my takeaway is nice. I got the hack motion set up so I can take it back. I can see the number looks good. I can take it back. Now right now I'm at a minus one, right? Normally I used to be here already a minus 20 here in the takeaway, which got that face shut down, right? Now look where that face is going left, okay? Yeah, so this is how you actually really want to get good. You know, when you want to change a swing key, you know, this is how you have to work on it. It's a methodical thing that you have to go through, but it's worth it in the long run, right? You know, I'm looking at the numbers again. Take it really nice there. The key is making sure going from more bold wrists, I have to make sure I get that chest turned. Boom. Oh, that's it right there. Now that toe's in a better position. So from here, if I just turn back toward my target, look at the club face. It's square now. And the ball's coming right off the target line, going right to the pin. Keep grinding, folks. I'm going to hit some full swing shots with this and just let you see my journey. This is... The next three to four weeks is going to be actually my swing journey, how I made a swing change. All right, and then I come over here in the same session. So I hit about 15, 20 balls like that. Then I come over here and I actually added a little extra move in the bottom I'll talk about later. And then I come over here with the full swing and I'm trying to get it here where I can get it fixed. Right, and then at the top, I want to have that number right there. That's a good number right there. All right, so here we go. All right, plus two at the top. And um, minus 12 at the bottom. They say I'm just a little bit too bold at the bottom. But I don't mind that if I swing out a little bit. I'm worried about the top. I'm more square at the top. So I'm here at the top. Boom. Got a little cuppy wrist now. That one got away from me, but my numbers are right. Okay. Right there again, plus 10 
at the top, which is extension, minus two at the bottom, which is flexion. And that's what I'm going from. I used to be flexion deflection. I had a bold wrist at the top, a bold wrist in the center, and a bold wrist through the strike zone. I'm going back to where I used to be for about 10, 12 years. I haven't played with um, extension at the top in a long, about 10, 12 years. That's it right there. That's a good ball. Woo! There we go. All right, so that's it. Okay, so it's saying I'm minus 11, flexion at the bottom, and I was plus 15 at the top. They said I was just a little bit too extended, but I actually love that shot, right? All right, so this is how I'm going to do this swing journey. Keep grinding, folks. You can see this in numbers. You can see these numbers? There you go. You can see those numbers now. So I'm working toward having that extension at the top, and I'm already there. But like I said, I'm going to give it a two, three-week journey. I'm going to keep you guys posted with this journey. Peace. All right, so then here's the third part of how I do it, make a change. I've done the short swings, right? Working on the takeaway, making sure that's right. And then I did some full swings, making sure I'm within that safe zone. And on hack motion, yellow is a safe zone. Green is, is the number you want to be at within that metric, and red is way outside the number. So then I'm sitting out here at 154 yards. I got an eight iron. I'm not trying to hit the ball hard. Left side of the green. Plus 11 at the top. Just a little bit too flex, okay? Plus four at the bottom, a little bit too extended. But I'm in the yellow though, I'm in the safe zone, right? So we hit one more. That's perfect numbers around right there. Top minus three, not bad, in the range. Impact minus five, let's hit one more. I got green numbers on that one. All right, let's hit one more. So this is how I'm making a change, you know? I'm actually putting in the work. Oh, that's a golf shot. I don't know, if it didn't pick up. That's the shot I want right there. It didn't pick up, I'm gonna hit another one. I noticed with me having more flexion, I mean more extension at the top, a more, more of a cuppy wrist, that I have to really throw at the bottom. Oh my goodness. Look at that little two yard baby cut. That's normally a two yard fade, right? I'm, I'm bending the ball the way. I'm in the numbers too. Top green impact, looking good. Almost a flat wrist at the top and an impact I had a little bit of a bowl coming through, which is gonna enable me to hit that cut shot like I just did. Take care, folks. My swing journey. I hope you're enjoying it.